Hello, I'm Jessica Miller with the Teju Behavioral Health out of Dot Lake Village. I have April McElhaney, our therapist from Teju. So, April, I noticed during the change in season, there often brings about changes in mood and behavior. So what can limited daylight hours ha have um, an effect on different people? Yeah, so when we consider the, the changes in the season, since um, there's, I would say pretty much, you know, two seasons, uh, winter and summer. Um, and when we consider the change in the season, we also have to consider the change in the sunlight, the, the, the lack of sunlight. Um, and with the lack of sunlight, um, you know, course I'm I, I'm a therapist not a medical provider but like the the vitamin D and the the things that we get from the sunlight the, the what we also get from um, leaving the home being outside more and um, for for some it feels comfortable to go outside even when it's cold and, and but some um, you know there's a lot more times that you're staying indoors so you're indoors out of the sunlight um, doing things more indoors and maybe not as much outdoor activity, depending on the person, um, because of also the weather, considering the change in the weather um, in the season as well and the coldness. So um, there's there's a lot of things that can change with the change in the season. And also considering the change in the season comes um, the holidays. Um, you know, there's Thanksgiving and Christmas and, you know, I can keep going on and on with the different holidays that come up during also the winter season. So um, we have to consider, um, you know, the, the stress and anxiety that may come up also with um, with the holidays, um, you know, the, the different family events or different events, or maybe someone's uh, isolated and alone and considering what that means. Um, and, and being indoors and maybe not socializing as much also can bring on a change of mood as well. So um, there's so many things that can um, bring this on, but considering um, no, consider noticing the change in someone's mood. Are, are you feeling more down and depressed or the opposite, maybe more on edge and restless and having our time? Like, like what's going on and noticing a change because um, when the change in the season comes um, and also the holidays coming up, it also brings on um, a potential change in mood. Um, you know, uh, considering is this uh, what some would call seasonal depression or and getting evaluated and, and maybe having even even temporary support um, to consider like what this is. Is this, um, you know, maybe having a diagnosis or clinical um, as, you know, uh, aspect from this of um, from a, a doctor or a therapist to be able to help in this uh, area. And there's different different treatments that can um, help. Awesome. So are there any tips that you can give for that person that is feeling anxious or depressed during this time? Yeah. So um, I always say, first of all, rule out any type of medical um, issue, you know, um, talking with a doctor, um, letting them know what um, what symptoms are going on. Um, maybe they would, uh, you know, want to, to run some labs or some blood work to see um, if there's any changes as far as um, like the medical side goes. And um, if the medical side is ruled out, um, then considering, you know, the um, and I'm talking medical, like the, the physical side, um, can then considering the change in the, uh, the mental health side and, um, seeking out help from a, um, from behavioral health, um, support in that area and they could help, um, do an assessment and to see what needs to happen going further. Well, thank you so much, April, and thank you for your time and talking with us about you know, the different change in seasons and how that makes us feel. Um, if you are someone who is struggling with mental health, please feel free to visit our website, teju.com, or please give us a call. Thank you all.